Hi guys, in this video we are going to know how do we compare numbers to 20. When we want to talk about comparing numbers, we should remember the hungry alligator story. Here it is, the hungry alligator. He always opens his mouth to eat the bigger object or the bigger number. Here it is, the hungry alligator. Once you see the bigger burger, he directly turns his mouth to the bigger one and open it to start eating. Now, he saw more fruits on the other side, so the hungry alligator opens his mouth to eat more, 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 more fruits. What a greedy alligator! Now, this alligator saw the same number of apples on both sides. So, because they are same, he is going to eat them both. So, he is confused. He can't eat this or that, so he decides to eat both. Now, let's see what about the numbers. The hungry alligator wants to check the bigger number in order to eat it. Over here, the hungry alligator can see two popcorn boxes, while over here, he can see three ones. So, yes, he will open his mouth to the bigger, bigger, bigger number to start eating, hungry alligator. Same over here. He has to decide between the three ice cream cones and one ice cream cone. Of course, the greedy, hungry alligator will open his mouth to eat the bigger one. What about having two same number of apples? Yes, the greedy alligator is going to eat them both. So, because they are equal, he's going to eat them both. Now... Let's see these signs without the hungry alligator. We have 8 and 1. We will check which is bigger, number 8 or number 1. Because number 8 is greater than number 1, so the hungry alligator will open his mouth to eat number 8. So we use this sign to show the greater number. So this sign means that number 8 is greater than number 1. Let's move forward. When there are two digit numbers like 14 and 19, we have to compare the tens first. What's the number of tens in 14? It's 1. What's the number of tens in 19? It's 1. 1 10 in 14 110 and 19. Because they are the same, they are equal, we're not going to compare them. We jump to the ones. Now, let's check the ones. Four ones in 14, nine ones in 19, which is greater? Nine or four? Of course, number nine. So we will use the greater sign this way. This sign means that number 19 is greater than number 14. Let's try it again. 18, 16, which is greater? First, we have to compare the tens. 110, 110. Because they are equal, we have to jump to the ones. Let's check the ones now. 8 ones, 6 ones, which is greater? Eight ones or six ones? Eight ones. So the hungry alligator will open his mouth to eat the bigger number. This sign means that 18 is greater than 16. What about now? 20 and 11. Two tens, one ten. Which is greater? Two tens are greater than 110 so we will use this sign which means that 120 is greater than 11 over here number 10 and number 1 let's compare the tens first how many tens are there in 10 one ten how many tens are there in one zero ones so one 
and zero, which is greater. Of course, number one. So we will use this sign, which means that number 10 is greater than number one. Now, let's search for the greatest number. The greatest number means that we have to search for the bigger, bigger, bigger number. 13, 3, and 15. The greatest number is 15. So number 15 is the greatest one. 6, 20, 11. We search for the greatest number. It's a 20. So 15 is the greatest number between 13, 3, and 15. 20 is the greatest number between 6, 20, and 11. Now, what about thinking about the least number? What's the meaning of the least number? It's the total opposite of the greatest. Least means that we have to search for the smallest number. 16, 19, 7. Of course, number 7 is the least number. 1, 0, and 10. Of course, the least one is zero. Thanks, guys, for watching this video. Goodbye.